pretty good when your point guard's jumping it up. Sanaya Rivers jumping up against Aaliyah Edwards, and it was Rivers who got her hand on it, but Beckers who controls. You see NC State starting out in man-to-man. -man. That's their bread and butter, what they will play primarily on the defensive end. Here is Ford connecting on a three. She had 32 last year against NC State. Not only a three, a deep three. Easy Fudd and Paige Beckers hoping for a long run of action together on the floor. Something they have not had a lot of through their first few seasons. Easy Fudd is just a special shooter and when she gets the ball, can't ever go behind a screen or a handoff when you're defending Easy Fudd. Just the 16th game, those two playing together. Fudd and Beckers. Shot clock down to five. Good hedge there from Edwards. Nowhere to go for Rivers. Gives it up. Shot clock is going to expire. Aaliyah Edwards is an outstanding perimeter defender. You saw her hedge out and help. She has quick feet. She has long arms, and she can stay in front of a guard. Here, this is your 6-2 big. Look at her move her feet. Make sure the officials cannot call a foul until AZ Fudd returns. That's outstanding defense by the big. Take a look at the UConn starting five. Nika Mule, back-to-back -back defensive players of the year in the Big East as Edwards showing off that mid-range touch. Holly talking about everything Edwards could do on the floor to make an impact, and we see it defensively and offensively right away. A 5-0 start for Connecticut. Here's James curling into the paint and banking it home. That's a tough bucket from a fired-up Isaiah James. Right down the floor, Fudd misses the layup. Rebound, River Baldwin. River to reverse. And Collins can't squeeze it in, and Edwards the rebound. Collins, though, has the size and strength advantage over Ducharme, who's playing the forward position. Here's Mule picking it out. Fudd, back iron, no. Look good again, though, from AZ Fudd. Wes Moore was telling us just how quick the release was, especially in transition last year, and still having nightmares about it. Ducharme backdoor, Becker's extra feed, Edwards couldn't finish it. Rivers was there for the contest. Yeah, Rivers saved what could have been an easy layup for Edwards. Hayes gets it into James, can't get the leaner to drop, and Becker's the rebound, Connecticut looking to push. Here's Edwards, swivels around, gets the whistle on Baldwin, and free throws for Edwards. Gino Oriema leading Connecticut for the 39th season. 1,181 wins, 11 national championships, more than any other program in college basketball history. Moore has done an outstanding job, a fixture now here at NC State. His 11th season, the three-time ACC Coach of the Year. His team has been to six straight NCAA tournaments, dealing with a lot of change this season, though. These two teams, of course, had an epic meeting in the Elite Eight two years ago. A double overtime Connecticut win to send them to their 14th straight Final Four. Beckers coming up with a steal, gets it ahead to Newell. Three on two, Bud back to Beckers, thought about the three, did not take it. Now Beckers veers around Hayes and finishes, plus the foul. A chance for three for Paige Beckers. Paige Beckers, over the course of the last two seasons, has added some strength to her frame, and she looks forward to driving into the paint here. You say you get the start. Get the steal going the other way. Finally gets the basketball back, but using that stronger frame to get inside the lane. And Beckers completes the three-point play. Holly? 
Well, Rebecca, you talk about her frame. Her high school coach used to call her olive oil. She reminded me of that today. <laughs> she doesn't look like that anymore. She's more Popeye. She's added about 15 pounds to her frame. She said, I've never felt such confidence in my strength and my body. We'll give you more as the game goes on. Especially coming back for injury, Holly, that's the most important piece is being confident in yeah. yourself and your body and trusting it. Becker slings it out. And how about that shot by Rivers? <laughs> yeah. Too sharp, too strong. Edwards, the offensive rebound. Can't flip it in. Got her hands on another, but knocked away. Controlled by NC State. Here is Sanaya Rivers. Rivers tried to pull up that time, and Fudd knocks it out of bounds. It'll stay with the Wolfpack. Sanaya Rivers taking on a leadership role for NC State, now a junior. Spent one year at South Carolina, transferred to NC State last year, was the ACC Sixth Player of the Year. Her ceiling is just so incredibly high. Great athlete. Look at the size of her. She's got good size at 6'1". She's long. She talked about adjusting her shot a little bit. That's the next evolution for her is to become a better three-point shooter. Right. In South Carolina, her freshman year, was just one of 31 from three. Last year, improved, still... Not a good percentage, just 22%, but obviously big improvement from one for 31 and trying to build further on that this season. That's going to be a charge. Beckers takes the body, and James is whistled for the personal. Her first. Paige Beckers here just in great help position, draws the charge. I mean, we've seen it on both ends of the floor now. Her just, you know, not being afraid of contact at all. Here is Beckers, off to Ducharme, Edwards. Mule takes the three and knocks it down. It'll be a long two for Nika Mule. Nika Mule. Eleven four start for Connecticut. Rivers elevates and gets it to go. That is a difficult shot from Sanaya Rivers. Mule around the Edwards screen, scoops it in, plus the foul. A chance for three for Nika Mule. Just going hard to her left side. I don't know how she got that to drop. Right on the heels of hitting the three the possession before. Isaiah James picks up her. The announcer called it a three in fairness to you. Isaiah James, her second personal. So Wes Moore has to check out James. And in comes Zoe Brooks, a freshman that this town is very excited about. Number nine overall recruit, according to our ESPN rankings. The number four guard has a poise and a presence to it. Dishes off to Hayes, who buries the three. Really nice, just a little bit of dribble penetration to get Hayes' defender to take another step towards the ball handler and then delivered perfectly. Backers, the pull up, won't go. Rivers the rebound. Pushing pace for NC State. Rivers flicks it ahead. Hayes kicks it out. Brooks can't scoop it in. Collins keeps it alive and gets fouled. Good work on the offensive blast from Mimi Collins, who earns two free throws. Paige Becker's getting it done with energy on both ends of the floor, defensively, and then attacking the basket, looking for the contact. How's she feeling about it? Good. Got out of the gates very quickly. Really important for NC State in this game to take care of the basketball. Connecticut already has seven points off of turnovers. Also important for them to get these second opportunities. River Baldwin travels, and NC State turns it over their fourth, Rebecca. Hey, later tonight, over on ESPN, another great women's college basketball matchup. Number nine, Indiana. Number 15, Stanford, 5 p.m. on ESPN and the app. So it's a great triple hunter we have going on today. Becker's back door lays it in on the delivery from Edwards. South. So South Carolina beat Maryland. And the opener of our triple header has 
How smooth does Rivers look here today? Sanaya Rivers is a talent and will one day, we talked about this last year, be a very good pro. No doubt. You watch her for a minute and you can see she's a unquestioned pro in the making as Beckers gets the whistle against River Baldwin. That is number two on River. And Connecticut is in the bonus with 408 still remaining in this first quarter. Remember, the rules in women's college basketball favor the ball handler when they're facing the basket and attacking the rim. You just can't touch them. Beckers, a preseason All-American. It's the first free throw. Talking with Gina Oriama before the game about Paige and ways in which she still may have improved despite all the missed time. And he said, definitely stronger, which we know Holly detailed earlier and probably will some more throughout the afternoon. Said she's also more mature. Said the one issue she runs into is sometimes she's too comfy facilitating. That she just always wants to make her teammate great teammates great and sometimes she has to call her own number a little bit more as nc state is forced to take a timeout here connecticut picked up in full court pressure and nc state simply couldn't even get the ball in bounds they went over this morning in their shoot around quite a bit what they were going to try to do to counter this full court press holly rowe just to put a bow on that story about Paige and the work on her body to stay healthy and on the floor, one of the biggest pieces she said of all the things she's done, Pilates, yoga, weightlifting, biometrics, training, she said it's nutrition. She used to just go to the gym, not eat breakfast, and she told me today she's eating three meals a day, three snacks a day. She wakes up and has a protein shake with collagen and creatine, a protein shake before she lifts, after she lifts. Getting good calories and keeping some weight on that frame has been a priority, and she thinks that's the biggest reason she's been able to make these physical gains. I saw her a couple of weeks ago, and it's the first thing I noticed. She yeah. is visibly bigger and stronger. Aubrey Griffin in off the bench for Connecticut. Here's Brooks committed to the air. Was able to get it out of her hand. Shot clock down to seven. Rivers three. Back iron no. Another offensive rebound for the Wolfpack. That was one of Gino Oriamba's concerns coming into this season is how do they replace the rebounding of Dorka Yuhas? And Aubrey Griffin in the game for Caroline Ducharme. Griffin is a good rebounder, but Connecticut does not have a big front line. Right. Jana El Alvi went down in the lead up to the season. And she would have been that just huge body in the back line as part of their big rotation. So that is an area of concern for Gina Oriema as Nika Mule will check out after picking up her first personal foul. And into the game comes KK Arnold, number six ranked recruit, according to ESPN, in the 2023 class. Two point game. Crowd very engaged. Here's Arnold, out to Edwards, can't hit. Rebound to Rivers. Pushing pace for NC State. Hayes, look out. Collins able to grab. to shoot Brooks, no look pass, and it ends up stolen by Griffin. I don't think Lizzie Williamson was quite ready for the no look, as Rivers comes up with the emphatic rejection. Why is your point guard the one taking the opening tip? That's why. Sanaya Rivers' athleticism has been on full display already in this game. We've seen it on both ends of the floor here. Just waiting, times it perfectly. He gets the long left arm up for the block. And then on the inbound, Edwards gets chucked. NC State is over the limit. Hayes picks up her second personal. Free throws for Connecticut. So two on Hayes, two on James. 
two on Baldwin for NC State. The pro season, remember, only five personals that you're allowed in the collegiate season. When it comes to personal fouls. What a jump from Ali Edwards a season ago. 16.6 points per game, nine rebounds. You see the double doubles after she didn't have a single double double the year before. She was a she had a really good freshman year, a bit of an inconsistent sophomore year, and then last year she was phenomenal. Stretch in February with all the Connecticut players struggled a bit just because they had so few numbers and were tired. But what a year it was for Aaliyah Edwards. She would project to be a very high WNBA draft pick next season if. She elects to go into the WNBA draft, can stay for another season. Lacey Steele in for NC State. Brooks off the delivery from Steele, floats it in. Nice patience by the freshman. She has just looked so under control. It's one of the things you hear about Zoe Brooks, how poised she is at all moments, and you could see it in her demeanor. Back iron, no, for Griffin. Brooks the rebound, and Edwards the foul. That'll be the first personal on Ali Edwards. Brooks catches the ball in the paint, where she's going to be undersized if she's surrounded by bigs. What does she do? Just waits, lets Griffin, the shot blocker, go by and puts it up. Now, this is a quick lineup for Connecticut that can apply some extra defensive pressure. Becker is on the bench, so is AZ Fudd. Arnold trying to get up into another freshman in Brooks. Steele able to maintain control. Shot clock is down to 10 already. This perimeter pressure from Connecticut. Brooks floats it to the corner. Collins for to shoot. Back to Brooks it goes. Her three. Won't go. And it's knocked out of bounds by Arnold. And it will be NC State basketball. Arnold was left alone for the rebound and just sort of slapped it out of bounds. Steel, rhythm dribble, left it short. There is Mule, and Aubrey Griffin, KK Arnold, Aliyah Edwards, and Caden Samuels. Samuels, another freshman, as Edwards storms in for another layup. Seven points in this opening quarter for Lee Edwards. She's gotten so good when she catches the ball at the free throw line area, making the right decision, whether it's a pass, shot, or drive. On the steal, Griffin going to take it in for two. When these teams played a season ago, Aubrey Griffin made a real difference on the defensive end of the floor, just like we just saw getting into passing lanes, forcing turnovers, layups the other way. So you cannot telegraph a cross-court pass when Aubrey Griffin is around. Here's Steele underneath Williamson in a crowd, and that's going to be a held ball. And see State with the possession arrow. Talked about what a great athlete Sanaya Rivers is, where here is another one. Aubrey Griffin is an elite level athlete. You see her quickness as she gets out, jumps the route, finishes the other way. 37.4 seconds remaining in this first quarter. Connecticut a six point lead on NC State. Collins can't finish it over Edwards. Crowd wanted a foul. But it did look like there may have been. Five second difference game in shot clock. That three is good. Caden Samuels with a confident stroke. A 7 0 Connecticut run. A nine point Connecticut lead. The clock is turned off here. Rivers. 
Draws a crowd, will fire, can't hit. And that will do it for the first quarter. Connecticut finishes it on a 7 -0. Moore said taking care of the basketball transition defense were the biggest keys for his team today. See, in for Connecticut, Ice Brady, number 25, as Connecticut has its first turnover on the first possession of the second. Here is Brooks, the crossover and the jumper. Wes Moore talked about having two ball handlers on the floor, and because of the early foul trouble on James, a lot of run with Rivers and Brooks together. And especially when you're turning the basketball over, get your two best ball handlers out there. Here's Beckers giving it right back. Brady, catch, fire. No. And James back on the floor for NC State. Helps win the rebound for the Wolfpack. Rivers. Over to Maddie Cox. Younger sister of Lauren Cox. Former Baylor star. Look at Nika Mule battling down low as she's trying to defend Mimi Collins. Rivers jumper. Ooh. Friendly rims at Valvano Arena and Reynolds Coliseum. Sanaya Rivers with eight points. Here's Mule. Good feed. Samuels again. How good is that stroke from Caden Samuels looking? And just beautiful. And her confidence stepping into it. Samuels two for two from three since checking in for Connecticut, the freshman. And this is an ultra small lineup for UConn. Collins had it stripped by Fudd, timed it perfectly. Mule with Brady, Becker, Samuels, Fudd. Daisy Fudd to the corner, Samuels, not that time. Fudd, looked like she had a putback if she wanted it. Instead resets, gets open, and hit from three. Brady the offensive rebound and missed the bunny. And the rebound to Zoe Brooks. Corey oh, Emma is not thrilled on the sideline as Brooks bodies in for two. That was a really nice take under control by the freshman. Beckers goes back door and finishes. Nico Mule, who set a Connecticut single season record for most assists last year on the delivery. Collins missed the wide open bunny. Into the corner, Fudd can't hit. Brady kept it alive. Collins batted it and a held ball. NC State owns the possession. Zoe Brooks does not look like a freshman. She's playing with confidence here. Just goes right against the Big East two-time defensive player of the year. And then the back cut by Paige Becker is delivered from Mo by Mule. Already five assists for Nika Mule. Rivers gets fouled by Fudd. Bounced out with the body. And that will be number two on AZ Fudd. Caroline Ducharme going to come and get Caden Samuels. Here's James, at 19 points in the first quarter of NC State's opener. Zoe Brooks, able to finish. Nice take by Zoe Brooks, six point game. That's a really fun backcourt for NC State. Yeah. Brooks comes in alongside Rivers. Floyd gets alone again, can't hit, has had some really good looks. Mule able to battle and win the board. Here's Ducharme, air mailing it. Connecticut's had a lot of really good looks from three over the last few possessions. Cox will fire, and hit it! Three-point game, Brady. Faces up. Rivers surging, taking, and gets the whistle. Sanaya Rivers will shoot two. The penetration.
infiltration kick. Brooks is willing to just attack and get in the paint. And how about the other freshman? Cox here as the trail three steps in confidently, feeling it after it as well. Wes Moore has to be very pleased with the way his team has responded in this first half thus far. NC State's shooting 52%. They just have seven fewer field goal attempts because of those early turnovers. Yeah, they had answers when it looked like UConn might have an opportunity to blow it open. I love the student section here, by the way. They're fantastic. Mallory Collier, a freshman center, will check in for NC State. You know, speaking of the student section, somewhere around intros, I heard what sounded like a very real sounding werewolf noise. And I think it was not pumped in. I think it was the student section as Rivers is going to make them explode with the steal and the finish. In 8 01. And NC State is tied it. Duchon flips it in. I'm looking forward to the ball going out of bounds at some point so we can just replay that Rivers play. That was spectacular. Here's Cox on the attack, banking it home. Cox showing you her versatility, the three, and then the drive. By the way, Sanaya Rivers, 11 points in this first half for NC State as Beckers goes across her body to finish. Beckers up to 10. On the first half here in Raleigh. This is the first week of the women's college basketball season. We are seeing high-level basketball. Deflected by Beckers. Here's Ducharme, faking the three, drives it, flips it, Edwards, travel. Timeout on the floor, two-point game in North Carolina. Sonia Rivers, show me a little something, something. The steal behind the back corrals it. Tough finish. Oh, look at the crowd. Look at her. Stay tuned. The power goes out. Power out. Now trailing by two as we check in with Holly Rowe. You know, Oriama is frustrated with the lack of movement in this offense. He just told his team, hey, look, what do we do in practice? We cut, we pass, we cut, we pass. That's what we're not doing. He wants more movement in their offense. Too much standing around. Thank you, Holly. Here's James. Gets the whistle against Beckers, I believe, and that will be her second. Ryan, here in the second quarter, and you brought it up, you got a lot of really, really good-looking threes. In particular, AZ Fudd, a number of wide-open looks they just weren't able to convert. Three of 12 from three, UConn is so far. And, and they had, I felt like, four or five of those misses in the span of three possessions where they had a couple offensive rebounds and good looks as well as James hits the free throw. Rivers getting a breather for NC State. As James misses the second, and it's knocked out of bounds by Cox. Connecticut basketball. Four fifteen to go in this first half. Here's Mule. Fires a dart into Edwards, just couldn't handle it. And that is the fourth turnover for Connecticut. Griffin, Beckers, Ducharme, Edwards, and Mule are the five for Connecticut. As Zoe Brooks takes it across, flings it to James, working baseline, can't float it in. 
Offensive rebound, but turning it over is Mallory Collier. The indication was a travel. Looked like she may have been on the end line as well. Nonetheless, that is the ninth turnover from NC State. Beckers posting, finishing, plus the foul. And Paige Beckers a chance for three. You get the elbow entry to Aaliyah Edwards, and then Paige Beckers cuts to the basket, keeps the D behind her. Really nice job with the finish. You forget sometimes that Paige Beckers is a pretty tall young woman. Six foot. Yeah. Been very efficient so far here today. 12 points, five of six from the floor. Well, you might have, have talked about this off air before as well, Rebecca. Because Paige hasn't played that much basketball over the last couple of years, it's easy to forget just how incredible she was as a freshman. And performances by other players have made it you yeah. know, easier as well. But yes, <laughs> she's going to be reintroducing herself all season long. James in the corner. Mika Mule on the bench now for Connecticut. A.K. Arnold in, Beckers bounces. Edwards somehow got it, but then traveled. Went through the legs of Cox, but Edwards walks. Isaiah James in the left corner, the great plus one pass. Lefty steps into it confidently, continuing to shoot the ball well. Meanwhile, we're back in Connecticut. Did not have a turnover in the first quarter. They have five here in the second. As Collier checks out for NC State, Brooks, Hayes, James, Cox, and Collins, the five for NC State. James, short, good box out there from Aliyah Edwards. Beckers gets tripped up by James. That will be her third. Beckers has been in full attack mode today. And now James has to go to the bench after picking up number three. Sanaya Rivers back in. Yeah, her foot just barely trips up Paige Beckers' toe. Beckers and Edwards both check out. Griffin as well. Arnold, Brady, Fudd, Samuels, Mule in for Connecticut. Here's Arnold. Pulls up. Can't hit the jumper. Brady active on the offensive glass, but NC State controls it. You can see the defensive pressure from KK Arnold. That is part of what she will bring to the table as a freshman for Connecticut this season. Here's Brooks. Off to Rivers. NC State hasn't led yet today. Have a chance to take the lead here as Rivers wiggles into another whistle. Three different UConn players were sort of defending Sanaya Rivers as she's going off to the right side goes. Okay, who's coming, who's coming now? It's Mule, a little bit miscommunication. KK, nope. <laughs> Just with a little bit of wiggle in her movement, Rivers able to get to the basket. Holly? Well, when she was in high school, a lot of people called her the young MJ. She went to Michael Jordan's high school in North Carolina before her family got displaced by Hurricane Florence. And she does have that kind of move and movement to her frame, but she wants to get even better. Her mid-range is tight. She can slash to the basket, but she has been working tirelessly on her three-point shot. When she was at South Carolina, she was one of 31 from three her freshman year. And she said, I have to be a three-level threat. That's where all of her time and attention went to in the offseason. And Rivers has just given NC State its first lead. Samuels, not that time. Rivers talked to us about feeling like 
Her speed could be a factor today against Connecticut. It has been thus far. It is again there. Fine. It's a big jumper for Connecticut. Much needed after a 7-0. NC State run. Rivers is up to 15 points. Six of eight from the floor. Brooks gets blocked by Fudd. Here comes Mule running the break for Connecticut. Mule barrels in, can't finish. Samuel's got her hands on him. Rivers flings it ahead, and Brooks puts it home. Samuel's on the drive, lays it in. Good back and forth action here. I mean, just the last two plays by the freshman for each team. As you said, Rebecca. Incredible. The level of basketball we have seen in the first week of the season. Really, truly. Rivers, cross court. Brooks. Off to Hayes. Six to shoot in the corner. Collins can't hit. And Connecticut can hold for a final shot. to Arnold, who flips it in with three seconds to go in this first half. Brooks loses control, and that'll do it for the first half. He's also frustrated with how NC State is just driving right by them. He said, they're driving by us, being aggressive. We're making one move and not passing the ball. He wants more cutting, more movement, more aggression overall. He thinks NC State's the more aggressive team right now. All right, Hall, we'll see if UConn answers the bell here in the second half. And a whistle going the other way on Edwards. That will be her second personal. By the way, Wes Moore makes a change to his starting lineup here in the third quarter. The freshman Zoe Brooks starting the second half rather than Isaiah James, the junior who had three fouls in that first half. Brooks so good, but also you give James a few more minutes where she won't pick up a foul. So Mule putting some full court pressure on Sanaya Rivers. Rivers a three off the mark. Rebound on the floor and Mule up with it. Here's Ducharme. Ducharme on the attack. Bodies in and gets called for the charge. River Baldwin taking the blow. Caroline Ducharme just trying to force the action and Baldwin, yeah, for sure. She's got the position, does a great job taking the charge. I always like when the big players take the charge because they go down harder than the smaller players do. It's hard to resist the temptation to do go you, for the did, block, too. Did you like that when you were the big player taking the charge? I, in my entire college and pro career, I never took a charge. Stop never once. that. Shot blockers don't take charges, Not Ryan. once in your life? Not once. Wow. <laughs> Get stats and information on that immediately. Here's Beckers. Edwards from 18, no. And Brooks the rebound. Here's Zoe Brooks. Off to Collins, her three, sure. Brooks the offensive board and is tripped up by Fudd. Oh, they're going to call it on Nika Mule. And that would be number two on Mule rather than number three on Fudd. That turns to number 10, Nika Mule, for second. I think they're going to check on whether or not this should be on Nika Mule or on AZ Fudd. That's not on Nika Mule. She's nowhere near the play. That's on it's Ducharme. On no, it was Ducharme. on Ducharme. It was Ducharme's yeah. left foot. Yeah, you're right. 
And it's a similar foul that we saw called early when Paige Beckers got tripped up. And they're taking a look at it right now. not want to miss Candace Parker unapologetic. Well, we look forward to that tonight. Holly, 9 Eastern on ESPN, and then afterwards will be available to stream on ESPN+. Plus. Meanwhile, the foul and who it was on was being reviewed. That's why we went to break there. There was a timeout, and it was changed. No longer a foul on Mule. Instead, it was a foul on Ducharme. And here, Edwards picks up her third. By the way, it was number two on Ducharme. Buell remains with one. And Ducharme on the bench now for Connecticut as Aubrey Griffin checked in. Well, Sanaya Rivers, you know, Midnight Madness, you know, prime time with the pack. How about this? Sanaya Rivers throwing it down. Two-handed. At 6-1. She shouldn't take charges either. She should try to block every <laughs> shot. <laughs> That's it. And the Lobo blessing. Yes. Don't tell Wes Moore. <laughs> Tied at 43. Beckers. Zigging, zagging, and finishing. Paige Becker has been very aggressive off the bounce today and effective 15 points on 6 of 8 shooting. By the way, NC State is in the bonus already. Not even two minutes into the third quarter. And it matters right there. Beckers picks up her third. And NC State goes to the line. NC State's defense has been terrific and hasn't allowed Connecticut to get anything easy. So the result is Paige Beckers has had to go out there and try to create on her own. To limit UConn's assists the way NC State has, UConn only eight assists on 18 made field goals. They usually have a higher assist percentage than that. Last time Connecticut played a game here in Raleigh, you have to go back to November 24th of 2002. A uh, Connecticut win. Westmore talked about how happy he was to get Connecticut here for this game. He and Gino Auriemma have such respect for one another. As he sits both, it's tied at 45. Beckers and Edwards remain on the floor, three fouls apiece. And a foul here against Zoe Brooks. Put her hands on Mule. And that'll be number two on Brooks. And the first team foul against NC State. Here's Beckers. Beckers elevates, can't finish, ball with the rebound. Rivers. Gets his back. Out beyond the arc. Brooks a three. Back iron, no. Griffin the rebound. NC State just three of 11 from downtown. Connecticut just three of 13. They were two of five in the first quarter. Gino Oriama directing traffic from the sideline. Here's Fudd. Shot clock down to four. Edwards, mid-range, off. Rebound Griffin, got fouled by Collins. Stays here. Hey, Saturday, tune in to our Week 12 ACC Network football lineup, starting with number 11, Louisville, at Miami at noon, and then the Hokies host the Wolfpack from Blacksburg at 3.30 Eastern. We'll cap the day with Syracuse taking on Georgia Tech at 8. Both games also available on the ESPN app, so you can watch anywhere. Is Hollywood doing all of those games? <laughs> Probably. Here's Edwards. Leaning in, a lot of contact. No bucket. Rivers. Who's been a factor on the glass as well at that guard position. Loses her footing. So 
Joey Brooks. Beautiful pass out to Hayes. Who buries the three? Largest lead of the game for NC State. Beautiful dribble penetration to get deep in the paint, suck the defense in, and then find an open teammate up top. Beckers looking to answer, and does. Paige Beckers up to 18 points. Rivers off to Hayes. Brooks settles. This might be one of those games where Beckers has to put the team on her back. Collins with a triple. Wes Moore has been working a lot with Mimi Collins on her shot. Trying to change her form. She delivers there. Griffin swivels inside. Met two bodies and traveled. Beautiful dribble penetration deep inside, drawing the defense, kicking out for three. Paige Beckers, though, with the answer, the deep three. Mimi Collins made nine threes all of last season, already has four here in their second game. We send things over to Holly. Well, the big reason that they're struggling right now is the rebounding. Gina Oriema just challenged them in the huddle that they are not offensive rebounding. He said, we've got three. That really hurts. He had inserted Aubrey Griffin just for that because Ducharme has not been rebounding, and, and now she's out. So who's going to board for them? Yeah, that's a big thing, Holly. And Ducharme, no rebounds on the day. Griffin had gotten four before that injury. So Connecticut staying with a smaller lineup with Samuels in, not Caroline Ducharme. Held ball here, stays with NC State. Yeah, NC State is a plus nine on the glass right now. And Rebecca, you talked about it earlier. This was the biggest concern for Gina Oriama going into the season. Just the ability to hang on the interior without having a ton of size in his post rotation. Not a ton of size and not a lot of depth in that post rotation either. Knocked away, Baldwin has it in the corner. Baldwin, loose handle, flips it out. Collins. Rivers sizing up Beckers. Rivers elevates and knocks it down. Her mid-range, and it's equally as good when she dribbles left or right. Largest lead of the afternoon for NC State. Unranked to begin this season. Five-point edge on number two, Connecticut. Bud, they needed that. Bud. Bud now three of eight from the floor. Hit a three on the game's first possession. Missed her next four from downtown. Here's Hayes. Brooks trying to cut between two and, ooh, no whistle here as Rivers spins it in. Nika Mule took a shot after coming up with a loose ball and lost it. No whistle blew and Rivers took advantage. It's never fun to have somebody on the opposing team <laughs> right in the mouth with yeah. the fingers. And that's why she goes down there. Clearly should have been a foul. Right there. Maybe not down where the ball was, but on the face swipe. Yeah. That's hard to see if it makes contact or not. Like live. It's right. easy for us to see right here with the replay. <laughs> They are taking a look at this. They're just taking a look to see whether or not there was an intentional foul there. ruled 
there was not. They call it incidental contact, so play continues with NC State leading by five. And when you hear intentional foul, women's college game, that's like hearing the word flagrant in the pro game. So that's why they're able to go back and take a look at that, but nothing there for them to call intentional. Beckers, backdoor cut, gets swatted by Collins, who is waiting. Brooks, the crossover, the lay is good. Beckers, great kick to Samuels on a three. Third three of the day for Caden Samuels and a timeout. Paige Beckers continues to attack the paint and great help defense. Collins comes over and swipes the shot and then Brooks, man, she's been fearless attacking the paint. We've seen her make great passes out of the paint as well. This time she finishes. 12 points for Zoe Brooks as we check in with Holly. Well, we all should have seen this coming with Zoe Brooks because we actually covered her two years ago when she was a high school student in the WNBA All-Star Skills Challenge. She was paired with the pro, Sabrina Ionescu, and here is Zoe winning the 2022 WNBA Skills Challenge. The thing I loved about this is before this, we did an interview with her and she was like, I told Sabrina she better come correct and be and be good with it. And I just love that we saw something special in her. She was a junior in high school and she was already confident and cocky in the best possible way. And I saw her today before practice and she was like, oh, I'm still cocky. I'm still that confident <laughs> young lady. She totally believes in her game and she looks comfortable out here. I mean, what a great story that this young woman as a high school student paired with Sabrina Ionescu wins the skills challenge and now is here starring for NC State. I just love the part where she told Sabrina, like, you better be yeah, you ready better to win this it. thing. <laughs> I had a skills challenge one year for Sabrina, the three-point contest the next. Meanwhile, just to clean up one more aspect of that review on the no-call where Nika Mule took the, the contact from Brooks, in case you're wondering, well, hold on a second, they were reviewing it. Why didn't they call it a foul? The only kind of foul they could have called is an intentional foul. They can't then come back and call it a common foul on that review. Rivers just lost it. Here's Fudd. The hesitation, the stop, left it short. Rivers contested, and it's controlled by Collins. You saw Connecticut in a 2-3 zone. They've gone to that a fair amount here in this game when they're in their undersized lineup. Three minutes to go in the third. NC State a surprising four-point lead. Collins turns and hits. That is a difficult shot for Mimi Collins. She's had some big moments in this third. Fudd from 15, yeah. That's been the spot for her. Couple dribble pull up right around the elbow area. She has been consistent today. Easy fought up to nine points. Four point NC State lead. <laughs> NC State has not beaten UConn since 1998. Here's Rivers. She got it! Samuels in the corner, not that time. Rivers the rebound, her seventh. A new career high, 23 points today for Sanaya Rivers. Baldwin backing down Edwards. Baldwin, no. rebound over to Beckers. Beckers into the paint, finds Fudd. Off on a three, pays the rebound. Connecticut now five of 17 from deep. Brooks dumps it inside, Beckers battling, and it's out of bounds to Connecticut. 
Hey, later tonight over on ESPN, another great women's college basketball matchup. Number nine, Indiana against number 15, Stanford. 5 p.m. on ESPN and the app. It's the second possession in a row where an NC State big had a mismatch. Not able to deliver this time. The previous possession, they waited until AZ Fudd and Edwards switched and they no longer had the mismatch, but it's there early in the possession if the guards can get it inside. Since the first quarter, NC State has outscored UConn by 16. Edwards the spin, can't finish it. Samuels keeps it alive. Another chance here for Connecticut. Fudd on the drive, out to Beckers, that's a charge. River Baldwin doing something Rebecca Lobo never did in her career. A big taking the charge. Go ahead, big girl. Don't you block that shot. Ooh. Number three on Fudd. Oh, it just feels right now, Rebecca, like all the momentum is with NC State. It is. Wes Moore was bracing himself for what could happen this afternoon against Connecticut, knowing He's got a really new squad as Beckers checks out. Lost his top four leading scorers from a season ago. And this is a Connecticut team that's healthier than they've been in years. Number two in the nation. But NC State has been up to the challenge thus far and then some. They showed incredible toughness, resiliency, good D. As that's out of bounds, last touch, Hayes. It is Connecticut basketball. It's safe to say NC State is not going to go the whole season unranked. <laughs> They're going to be ranked on Monday, no matter what the <laughs> result of this game is. Here's KK Arnold. The freshman dips into the paint. Great setup for Edwards on the layup. Shot clock turned off. Five-point NC State lead. Brooks gets it back. Three seconds to go. Brooks has to hoist. Does. Can't hit. And that'll do it for the third. Sanaya Rivers, a career-high 23 points. Three to 21. They need some size and rebounding inside ASAP. Yeah, wow. That is a massive difference on the glass as Edwards... And did the third with a bucket, starts the fourth with one. Aaliyah. 11 points now for Aaliyah Edwards. Beckers begins the fourth quarter on the bench. So does Griffin along with Newell. Rivers at that time. Rebound pops to Baldwin. And that time, Connecticut was in position to board it, but no communication. Ducharme. Arnold trying to find an angle. Stops, pivots, blocked. Baldwin. And James comes away with it. Isaiah James through the legs off the ball. I wonder how many more minutes Gino Morama will buy for Paige Beckers on the bench here. Trying to keep her between 25 and 30. As she builds up, she's at 24. I think she'll be closer to 30 than the 25. I think that's fair. Edwards, another jumper. Three-point NC State lead. The buckets from Aaliyah Edwards. Zoe Brooks on the bench for NC State to begin the fourth. So is Mimi Collins. Collins getting ready to check in now. Here's Rivers, off the haze, into the corner, James connects! She a three! Just a really nice job screening the top of the zone, getting Connecticut's defense in rotation and making the extra pass to the left corner. Well, Edwards used her foot to control that, that's going the other way. It was a poor entry pass and Edwards gets called for the kick ball. Get the ball to the right wing. And here you see Baldwin setting the screen. Now what happens? The zone is in rotation. Samuels just can't get to the corner quickly enough. Really well executed. Connecticut after turning 
taking it over zero times in the first quarter. Has coughed it up nine times since. And NC State has done a better job of controlling the basketball after they were sloppy in the first. Rivers gets it to James, two to shoot, foul on the floor. Basket will not count. What you look at is the start of the try. And Decanter rules that the foul was before the start of the try. Good ball movement again, and yeah, Cadence gets her right on the arm as she's starting the dribble portion of the move. comes Beckers. She might get to 31 minutes. She might. Unless we got overtime. Enters at 24. Arnold checks out. And another kick from Edwards. This one on the defensive end will stay here. That stat kept in the box score. Yeah. She would already have a couple today. And on both, I think they were actually of value to Connecticut. One force who might have been a run out after a poor entry pass, and that one maybe saved a layup. Yeah. James gets loose and lays it in. <laughs> Largest lead of the afternoon for NC State. Beckers stops and travels. NC State had the right side of the floor overloaded, and so when James made Becker's bite, was able to go back door right there. Got the nice finish as well. This is not an easy building to come into, and in Connecticut finding that out this afternoon. Eight point NC State lead. James, black iron, no. Becker's battling on the glass. Collins winning. And a held ball. Possession arrow belongs with NC State. Rebecca, what are you seeing from Connecticut right now on the offensive end? You know, this is a team that is so good when they find their rhythm and when they get dribble penetration and cuts and movement, and they haven't had that same kind of a flow today. In the first half, we saw them get really, really good looks from the perimeter. They just haven't been able to make them consistently. NC State a plus 14 on the glass. James tried to sell a foul there. And conversely, NC State, Westmore's teams are always solid, terrific, physical, really good man-to-man -man defensive teams. And we've seen that for certain again here today. They have been the ones making things disruptive for Connecticut and taking that flow away. A three-time ACC Coach of the Year in his 11th season leading this program. Here's Rivers. Rivers leans in and gets down. Sanaya Rivers will shoot two. Aiden Samuels picks up her second. This has been no, to your point, Rebecca, no real rhythm from Connecticut in the second half. And Sanaya Rivers, it feels like she can get a bucket or to the line almost any time she wants to. And Connecticut has tried a, a variety of defenders on her, and she's just that kind of elite scorer that hasn't been able to be slowed down. Rivers up to 25. Six of eight from the line. A 7-0 NC State run. Their lead is 10. They can taste a jubilant Sunday evening in Raleigh. Six and a half minutes for Connecticut to do something about it. Edwards gets blocked. That is the sixth block by NC State. It has been a block party for them all day long from the guards, from the bigs. Collins on that rejection. Here's Fudd. Trying to go baseline, met by Hayes. Throws it away. Rivers running, James lays it in.
in the future. These moves looking real nice in the future. Love it when I'm in it, look nice. Look nice. Yeah, she can do to your countertop with the Ninja Thirsty Drink System. Pick your drink. Still or sparkling. Choose your size and the Ninja Thirsty will dispense the perfect drink every time. With four drink lines and endless combinations, there's a drink for everyone. Make crisp sparkling water with a hint of fruit flavor. Thirst quenching drinks with electrolytes. Drinks with B vitamins or invigorating energy drinks. Make thousands of drinks with the Ninja Thirsty Drink System. Some people just know there's a podcast about that. Those are the people who know to choose Allstate. Big tea drinker. Yeah. There's a podcast about tea. He knows, hey. and he wants you to know, I, too. I was listening to a podcast on if dogs know their dogs. There's a podcast about that? Just like he'd want you to know about Allstate. There's a podcast about fly fishing called Why Is That Person Doing That? It's called tea Rific. Are you listening to a podcast? Yeah, it's about multitasking. Some people just know there's a podcast about that. Those are the people who know you're in good hands with Allstate. At ESPN, we are proud to salute America's heroes for their sacrifice and service to our country. Tune in this week for tributes and special features across ESPN programming, honoring our great service members. Well, NC State has a 12-point lead on Connecticut. And right now, the Huskies turn the ball over too frequently as well. We saw it generate the most recent NC State bucket. Yeah, coming into the game, the NC State guards felt like they had the speed, ad speed advantage, and certainly that last play they used it. Got the turnover, pushed it the other way, and they have 18 fast break points on the day. Last top five win for NC State while being unranked, December 29th of 2016. Connecticut had a nine point lead after the first, but NC State has dominated since. Gino Oriama searching for answers right now. At Reynolds Coliseum. Aubrey Griffin back on the floor for Connecticut after taking a shot to the head earlier in this half. It's Edwards, Fudd, Beckers, Mule, and Griffin for Connecticut. Rivers, Hayes. James Collins and Maddie Cox for NC State. And Connecticut make a push. Beckers. That's going to be a charge on Beckers. And foul number four on Paige Beckers. It's been outstanding defense by NC State all day long. And Connecticut runs an offense that's hard to defend. And here, just steps, it moves. Fair call. And it, it just feels like NC State all game long has kind of known and felt where UConn is going to go, where they're going to cut, how they're going to use the screens, and have been able to get there. So foul number four on Paige Beckers. Beckers was then getting an explanation from DeCanter on that call. Feeling that James owned the spot. Here's Rivers. Gets free and lays it in. <laughs> 27 for Sanaya Rivers in 11-0 NC State run. Edwards, deep catch, and spins it in. That ends the run, and Connecticut gets stops now. Well, that's been the big question for Connecticut all game long. NC State shooting 54%. They've done a great job of getting good looks and converting, and converting tough looks as well. Right, the only thing they've struggled with at times on the offensive end is turnovers. Cox, off to Rivers, her three, missed it badly, and out of bounds to Connecticut. Let's check in with L. Duncan. 
Thank you, Ryan. Still to come, we cap what's been an amazing triple header with a top 15 matchup between number nine Indiana and number 15 Stanford. The All-American Ford McKenzie Holmes averaging almost 17 points per game against ranked opponents for her career, Ryan. All right, we look forward to that matchup, Elle. Beckers serves it in. Back-to-back -back buckets from Connecticut. Still 4.45 to go in the fourth. Rivers taking direction from Westmore on the sideline. James in the corner. You bet! And that was over the long arm of Aubrey Griffin, a really well-contested shot. Took a while for James to get going, but now she has. Ten points in the fourth for Isaiah James as Edwards draws a whistle. Catches quickly, feet are set. The lefty just goes right into the stroke as Griffin tries to contest it. Gosh, the poise time and time again by the NC State players. All 10 of those second half points from James in this fourth quarter. It's an NC State team that lost their top four scorers from a season ago. Edwards. It's the first. NC State as a team, 8 of 20 from three-point range. 5 of 12 in the second half. Edwards hits both. Only Edwards up to 17 points. Connecticut trying to force some pressure here. James swiftly up the floor. Off to Baldwin. Baldwin's jumper is true. Great job off the on-ball screen. The trap came and delivered it perfectly to Baldwin. There was help, though, in the paint, so she was wise to just pull up for the J. NC State has also played very unselfishly, making the right play seemingly every possession. Here's Fudd off to Edwards, spinning and laying it home. Malia Edwards has been Connecticut's offense in this fourth quarter. But on this end, the Huskies get stops. Rivers the fake! And missed the layup. An opportunity for Connecticut in transition. Here's Beckers, a three they need, and they have it. Eight point game. Beckers up to 23 points, a nine of 13 shooting. Only she and Samuels have really shot it efficiently here today. Collins from 15, no. Rebound Edwards, there's a shoe down, it's Samuel, she puts it on very swiftly. Beckers drives in, kicks out, fudge jumper, short. Missed opportunity there for Connecticut with a little momentum building for them. Brock is the friend of NC State. Rivers goes right to the rim, uncontested, lays it on 29 for Rivers, and a confusing defensive sequence for Connecticut. Samuels in the corner, can hit. Rivers with their 10th rebound, also has five assists and three blocks. Rivers, spinning, dishing, James, and hit. Ford Hayes, another chance for NC State to run a little more clock. Rivers bounces, River, Baldwin gets fouled. And free throws here for Baldwin. Snyder Rivers smartly had the ball. 
slowed it down and then just attacked the basket. No help there at all. Defensive breakdown, but Rivers has been taking advantage of everything that's been given to her here today. Think about some of the players who have gotten into the national consciousness early with impressive performances through this first week of the season. And Sanaya Rivers bursting into that conversation as well. We saw her make an impact in the national championship game against Connecticut a couple of years ago for South Carolina after she hadn't really been playing. Huge afternoon here for Rivers. Baldwin hits both free throws. Becker's floater is good. 25 for Paige Beckers and a timeout taken by Connecticut. One twenty to go in this fourth quarter. Isaiah James and Sanaya Rivers have been excellent in this second half. And in the game, they've combined for 45 of 84 points for NC State. And the ability to hit from outside, moving the ball around. Sire Rivers has done a good job finding teammates when they've been open. And then what she's been able to do, I mean, she has just absolutely been an elite three-level scorer today. And I'll say three-level because she did hit that one three. Yep. And got out in transition. I mean, she's she's the real deal. And, and she has had it all on display today. NC State has been in the bonus since the 8.02 mark of this fourth quarter. Connecticut doesn't have to give any fouls to start playing the free throw game if they want to. You see what Rivers and James have done, a career high for Rivers. James has 10 of her 16 in the fourth quarter. And NC State has led this game since the 8.17 mark of the third. Newell's going to foul. Connecticut will put Rivers at the line. 63% free throw shooter from a season ago. Much better, though, here today. Six for eight. That's Rebecca. There can't be that many 30, 10, and 5 games. You think about what Rivers is about to do with one free throw. There you go. 30 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists. That's a rare line if you're going to go through the annals of NC State, which of course we now have our researchers on. <laughs> this is a historic performance today from Sanaya Rivers. I guess and another offensive rebound, but a travel, and it's Connecticut basketball. I guess the number two ranked team in the country. It yeah. sounds like this is right. just some preseason game against a whatever opponent. Right. 11 point. Whole Connecticut faces. Becker's short. Edwards, an outstanding rebound. It'll be the second team foul on NC State, so Connecticut will take this out under the hoop. 109 remaining in this fourth quarter. Samuels. Weaves around, kicks to the corner. Beckers, the floater is good. Paige Beckers has been terrific today. 27 points on 11 of 16 from the floor as Mule fouls Rivers, and Sanaya Rivers is going back to the strike. I mean, if Sanaya Rivers gets a consistent three-point shot, holy cow. You see Connecticut their record against unranked opponents over the last three seasons. You heard Tanaya talking to Holly at halftime and mentioning, you know, we're unranked. Yeah. You know, they, they took that personally, and clearly they should have. Well, they're going to be ranked tomorrow. Yes. Rivers misses the free throw. This is why you extend the game like this, because... It does keep the door open 
We miss a few, and Rivers has missed two of her last three. That's that one. 31 points for Rivers. Gotta go quick. Deckers behind the screen. Off to Samuels. Connecticut may be taking a little too much time here. Deckers hoist. Short. Rebound. Tipped out of bounds. Stays with Connecticut. 40.6 to go. Deckers trying to drive it, flips it up and off. Wanted a whistle, didn't get it, and now a held ball and a little extra. It'll stay with Connecticut with 35 seconds to go. A reminder, NC State has not beaten Connecticut since 1998. Coming up next on ESPN, Indiana and Stanford. None of these players were alive. Yeah, right, do the math, right? Here's Beckers. Off to Edwards, races in and lays it home. 30.6 to go, Rivers is fouled again with 30 seconds remaining and an eight point game. Late in the game like this when you're gonna foul, you might as well try for the ball first. Yeah. Not just like, you know, poke at the gut. Try for the ball, see right. if you can get a flick, see if you can get a jump ball even. First 30, 10, and 5 game in the Westmore era for NC State, courtesy of Sanaya Rivers. <laughs> 32 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists. She also has three blocks. Makes them both there. Huge free throws. Connecticut needs threes, not twos here. Deckers off to Samuels. Her three is good. It's a seven-point game with 20.6 to go. Into James. James evades, floats. Time running, and now Hayes is fouled with 16 seconds remaining as Nika Mule gives her fifth and will foul out. Four points, six assists for Nika Buell. Madison Hayes at the line. Hits the first. NC State staying completely in the backcourt here. And again, NC State 20 of 26 from the strike. It is all cosmetic at this point. Fudge short, rebound James. She's fouled by Edwards. Let the celebration begin. Moore with the right stroke as well. Had Zoe Brooks on the floor in the third, had James all fourth. Both provided good production in this second half. James hits both. And for the first time since 1998, NC State has defeated UConn. 